Hi folks, Brian here from Meridian Mats. I uh, want to share with you something I'm often asked the question, what is the best mat? Well, anything that scrapes, collects, holds, and hides dirt and moisture. So I'm going to demonstrate to you what is a good mat and a not so good mat. And it's very simple. I'm going to use sugar, which basically is sand and dirt and things that you get off of the street, to demonstrate so you can see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle this on the mat and at the end you decide for yourself which is the best mat for scrape, collect, hold and hide the dirt. Here we go. You'll recognize some of these products. They're out and about all over the place. So I'm going to put equal amounts on all of these and you're going to get an idea. Okay, watch. When I do this, I walk on it it settles down inside and this one here it just jumps around like a bunch of Mexican jumping beans so you have a wet foot and it comes in onto something like this and it's simply gonna go on and just come straight off the end so as a wiper scraper combination it's useless good wiper mat for us for a third level these here I sell them but I hold my nose selling them because they're not ideal you want to hide the dirt. You don't want to have to be vacuuming it all day long. Aesthetically, they're not very pleasing to say the least. Uh, effective if you've got heavy snow or something to that effect, uh, but again, even with that, it's just very difficult to clean. When the dirt gets down inside these grooves, these little valleys, what happens is it gets moisture in there and it's like glue. Eventually you have to get, use a toothbrush to scrape this out of there. So as we move across, some other options you've seen before. This one here are, is called needle punch design. And this one is a rib design. I'll put equal amounts on those. And you can see the same thing with this rib design. Although it hides a little better than the other, it's still visible. This one here, I don't like this so much because it's so difficult to get the dirt out. Once these nice little nibs start to flatten out and they trap the dirt inside, it's almost impossible to clean. Short of having a beater bar on your vacuum, it's a little easier, but generally very difficult. And this needle punch design, it basically flattens out over time and you see the traffic pattern going over it. Now let's go and look at what is, in my opinion, the best top quality matting out there. This is our Viper line of products. This one here, our Viper 8950, look. I'm putting a ton of sugar on compared to any of the other ones. I walk on it and it's gone. It's not magic, it's just a great design. And similarly over here, our product called the Viper 8925 or the 8900, this design here, very elegant looking, same idea. I put the sugar on this one, we'll walk on it, and voila, it's gone. Okay, so you tell me you want a good quality scraper mat that's going to last. Nylon, as we move across, polypropylene, move across polypropylene, these products collapse and die. The nylon doesn't. It lasts a long, long time. Scrapes, collects, holds, and hides the dirt. Go with the Viper line. You'll never be sorry. Thanks.